Honourable Member Berry. Thank you very much, Chair. Um, so, really good to hear you saying those principles there. And uh, Greens, we try to make constructive proposals. That's what we're doing today in our amendment. And in this work, we've been looking at ways to raise money for good things, new pedestrian crossings, um, safer streets, from bad things, people parking and loading illegally, things that actually make it more dangerous to be walking on our streets. So, looking at your current system of penalty charges, there's still a gap between the upper cost of a penalty charge notice for not paying the congestion charge and the, the charge for illegally stopping on a red route. Um, it's £160 for the congestion charge, the upper rate, and it's 130 for red route illegal parking. The gap is £30. So why is that gap there? I'm not sure about the, the two examples you've given, but some of these penalty charges we need government approval of. And in the past, we've tried to get government permission for them. They've said no. Uh, so I, I can look into what, what the reasons for that gap, but I'm, I'm, I've not got the, the table in front of me. Uh, well, again, I, I'm happy to write to you to explain which ones we have complete autonomy to increase, which ones we don't, and an explanation from the Commissioner why there's a difference, if that's what okay. you're after. Yeah, I mean, that was... An introductory question. I do actually have the exchange of letters between you and the Secretary of State for Transport, Chris Grayling, at the time. Um, you tried to increase. Chris, uh, the, you, God. you tried to increase oh, the red route charge in late 2017, getting it ready for January 2018, and you made a strong practical case based on based on evidence, including that the number of repeat offenders was up to 40 percent. Now, this was knocked back by the Secretary of State quite unusually intervening and preventing you from doing this. Um, so my question now is, have you tried since then to go back and increase this again? Yeah, and the reason why I'd remembered the, the, the exchange wasn't because I, I knew what question you were going to ask, but because it, we must be doing stuff recently to make me say that. So can I get in touch with you? Because I think we are, uh, mm. we've got a, a really good relationship with Grant Shapps and his team, and we're looking at all possible ways of, uh, you know, you, you're right, it's trying to change behaviour uh, uh, in a way that, that can lead to the, the stuff we talk about. Can I, can I get in touch with you about what we're doing? Sure. Uh, so we grant shouts because I think I think there is conversations taking place and, I, and I'm, David, can we make a note that as well, please, and get back in touch with uh, mm. uh, Senator Barry? Yeah, so, so closing this gap wasn't an option in the independent review of TfL's finances. It, it is a gap. It's about 10 million a year, we think. So by now, we'd have had 30 million more. Um, and it seems like it's a bit of a gap in everyone's thinking right now. But with the change in government policy towards streets, I think it probably is now the time Actually, to make another formal proposal. I mean, just in case somebody misinterprets what you and I are saying, you know, none of us wants anybody to incur a fine. So we're not, we're not saying this because we want necessarily to get more money in. We're trying to change behaviour. But if yes. it's the case that behaviour isn't changed, we should be getting the right amount of fines in. So yeah, and you need the right deterrent. That's the point. Exactly right. Yeah. Um, and I think, you know, to be honest, it, it would be disingenuous for the government to refuse you on this again when they're asking you elsewhere to, to increase fares and increase council tax for everybody, it would be right to, to keep increasing charges for people who were doing the wrong thing, people who were breaking the law, rather than try and penalise everybody who's paying their fares, who's using public transport, who's doing the right thing, um, compared with, with people who are breaking the law. So I hope you, you will go back to the government on this and then it will form part of your, your plans that, that going forwards. Uh, you're pushing an open door. Uh, let, let me get, get back in touch with you about um, what, what the latest is on that, uh, and, and, and I'll make sure we do that. Okay, thank you very much. I think that's all of my questions.